Um, what was frightening when you're when you're diagnosed with a chronic disease, was it actually a relief to you to find out and have? In a way, it's a relief, but in another way, it's frightening because you realize that you have a life-threatening disease yes. and you have to change your life. And I think that's the, the responsibility about, well, I need to change my life, but how? And what will oh, I need to do? That's how, so true. And how do I take an responsibility for my illness? I used to think if I didn't say, I have lupus, that somehow I, I wouldn't have it. You know, there's a <laughs> denial thing, like I would give it power or something. And it wasn't until I actually said the words, I have lupus, and really embraced having a disease, that I was able to take the steps to start to help myself heal. What were those steps? Um, well, getting out of denial, mm -hmm. uh, doing different kinds of medicines, finding out what worked, what didn't work, right. eating different foods, not eating alfalfa yes. sprouts, not taking yeah. um, echinacea, the things everybody thinks are so great <laughs> for you, just the opposite for us, staying out of the sun, uh, meditating, getting real quiet with myself and really having that, that tough talk of what am I doing that could possibly be bringing on a flare up. You know, I too have vertigo Mm -hmm. So I had to figure out what it was that would help it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the medications that are there for lupus people don't help me either. either. So there was a, a natural approach, a mental approach, a physical approach. Mm. Kind of on all levels. So I, I understand that stress is one of the things that can really cause lupus flares. Mm -hmm. Have you learned um, different ways to deal with stress in your life? Well, certainly praying, mm, yes, meditating, Journaling yes, has yes. been very helpful yes. for me. Thank I have you. horrible handwriting because I have arthritis, but nobody can read it, which is great. We have the same Kidding things. <laughs> I know. You two are we twins. Are, we are <laughs> twins. We're so <laughs> Here we are. And journaling. Some people um, love getting together with support groups. Mm -hmm. I never have. One of the things that I tell, because um, I'm a life coach now, so I work with people with chronic, with chronic illness, and sometimes I'll tell people, don't get on the internet. It will scare right. you. To death. Mm -hmm. You will think you're going to die tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. But the thing that you really need to do is become in charge of your own disease ah, and true. take control, challenge authority, question doctors, and really ask for what you need. Jane, did you do that as well? You kind of took Basically, charge? Basically, everything she said is the same way I felt. I didn't have any feeling about, uh, I'm afraid to say the word lupus. I didn't have anything like that. I knew what I had, and I had to accept it. You just took it and I just run took it and it. said, well, Lord, here I am again, help. <laughs> yeah. In any way you can, and I'll do anything I can to try to, have, to get rid of this because mm -hmm. it's holding me back in things I need to do for my family and for myself. Right. right. And I just couldn't allow that to happen. No, no at all. So you just have to, well, of course, prayer has been so much a part of my life. Yes. I had the greatest mom and dad that any, he just picked out two special angels for me. I was oh. so blessed to have the family that I did.